at the Nagaria base station in Nakuru, Kelvin Chepcock, a field engineer at Safaricom, always has his phone within reach. He's on call 24 hours as his colleagues monitoring the network need to reach him whenever the need arises. My role as a network uh, maintenance engineer is to make sure our network is stable, uh, our network resilience is available, so that we can be able to give customers a reliable network that can be able to serve them each and every moment uh, of their communication. The Safaricom Operations Center in Nairobi has its finger on the pulse of each base station across the country and oversees service operations. Its engineers monitor the network of Safaricom's more than 5,300 base stations. They get in touch with us immediately, they pick some faults on the network. For us as maintenance engineers, we normally have a schedule of visiting sites to make sure our sites are in order and working well. Kelvin oversees 98 base stations within Nakuru County and works closely with three teams. As a maintenance engineer within a certain cluster, I normally have a team of technicians uh, who are normally our partners, like uh, Tetranet, who normally assign me a group of uh, teams that each one has two engineers, two technicians who can be able to assist me in uh, making sure these uh, base stations are in order in terms of uh, generator fueling, in terms of uh, maintenance of these sites. Recently, when one of the base stations in Rumuruti was experiencing network loss, Kelvin and his team jumped into action. I had to rush to site and to mitigate on the power uh, issue that was on site, whereby I found some equipment had uh, burned out and had to replace as soon as possible sourcing for some spares for replacement from our uh, partners for which uh, within no time we were able to restore service within that locality and uh, services back on air. For that specific site we had about a distance of about 40 kilometers for which I had to rush to our nearest uh, spare store and uh, to pick that spare and uh, go back and replace. Some of our spare partners who were able to support us during uh, network falls uh, equipment replacement as like uh, GSMS who normally stock for us equip, uh, spare, spare equipment uh, in each and every town so that uh, we, we, have, we don't have to, to travel big long distances for us to be able to resolve faults for our network. Other than technical issues, Kevin and his team are also faced with human interferences that lead to losses. I once found a situation whereby we had a site that was vandalized around uh, Delamere estate here in Akuru County, whereby we found a site had been broken in, some equipment vandalized, and so we worked uh, round the clock to be able to replace those vandalized equipment and to restore the security status of that site, to, to reduce the recurrence of that situation, with the help of security and our partners who are Tetranet. Most of the time, we normally, I'm normally with a team of uh, a security person who normally assists us access these sites Every time I visit my sites uh, during the, the maintenance uh, periods. In the increasingly digital world, as Kelvin has observed since joining Safaricom six years ago, technology has become and will continue to be an integral part of our lives. In this telecommunication industry, one of the highlights that I really appreciate is the growth of Internet of Things riding on our network a moment whereby we can be able to read our water meters using our phones. We can be able to interconnect so many devices uh, on our network to make things and people's life easier at the end of the day. It takes a team of dedicated engineers to ensure that we remain connected 24-7. Kelvin and his team, armed with all the right skills and equipment, ensure that every call is made and every text is delivered with a reliable network connection. The best part as a maintenance engineer is that moment you are able to resolve a failure that has uh, affected communication within communities. That joy you see on customers, they are able to undertake so much, let's say calling a doctor, calling a fire brigade within a community. That's one of the moments I would say makes me happy as an engineer when what I'm able to do improves people's lives and communities.